To create a new reservation, select New Reservation from the Reservations menu. Alternately, you can press F7 on your keyboard. This is one of the Opera Quick Keys. The Ray Query screen displays. This screen allows you to check for availability and is divided into sections to easily define the guest's reservation needs. You can enter search information by reservation, profile, or room and rate criteria. Enter the arrival date in the arrival field or select the calendar button to open a calendar and choose the date. Enter the number of nights for the stay in the nights field and then press the tab key. When you tab, you will notice that the departure date automatically populates based on the number of nights. Next, if you know the guest's name and wish to enter it, click the drop-down arrow next to the name field. Use the search area to locate an existing guest profile or select new to create a new profile. If you are simply checking availability and do not know the guest's name, you can attach a guest profile at a later time. For this example, we will attach an existing guest profile before proceeding. Enter the guest's name and select search. All guest profiles meeting the search criteria will display. If the desired profile does not exist, select new to create a new one. However, if the guest's profile does display in the grid, highlight it and select OK. The bottom section of the rate query screen allows you to enter a rate category, rate code, or room features if applicable. Now that you have entered all of the basic information, select OK to view room and rate availability. Once a rate is selected, the reservation screen displays. The top half of the screen contains the guest's profile information based on your previous selection on the rate query screen. On the bottom left section of the screen, we can see the stay information is also populated from the rate query screen based on your selection. The bottom center section of the screen includes statistical and payment information, and the bottom right section of the screen will display additional reservation information, such as specials, comments, or room preferences. The reservation type field is used to indicate the guarantee status for the reservation. This is generally pre-populated based on your property's default guarantee status, such as CC for credit card or GTD for guaranteed. You can select the drop-down arrow to select a new guarantee status. An additional window opens displaying the selections available. You may use the Find Search field and button to narrow down your selections, or just scroll through the list and highlight your choice, then select OK. Next are the Market and Source Code fields. These are used in financial, forecast, and statistical reports. The market code identifies the market for this reservation. It generally populates for you based on the rate code selected. If it does not populate, or if you need to update it, select the Market drop-down arrow to choose a different code and then select OK. The source code identifies the source of business for this reservation. Select the drop-down arrow to display the list of source codes and choose the appropriate code and then select OK. Now, let's choose a payment method for this reservation. Since we selected credit card guaranteed as the reservation type, the payment method must be a credit card. Click the payment drop-down arrow to choose the type of credit card and then select OK. Enter the credit card number in the credit card number field. Then, press the tab key to move to the expiration date field and enter the expiration date. On the right side of the reservation screen are additional reservation fields. For example, select the specials drop-down arrow to display a list of your property's special requests. For this example, we will select late checkout and quiet room. Select OK to return to the reservation. A prompt appears asking if you wish to attach these specials to the guest profile. Remember, if you select Yes, the special requests will be attached to all future reservations for this guest. For this example, we will select Yes, as this guest always has these special requests. Next, let's add a reservation comment. Select the Comment drop-down arrow to add reservation comments for users to see when accessing this reservation. 
From the Comments screen, select New. Choose a comment type by selecting the drop-down arrow. For this example, we want this comment to be displayed prior to check-in, so we would select Reservation and then OK. Now, manually enter the comment in the text box and then select OK. The comment now displays on the Comments screen. Select Close to return to the Reservation screen. When creating a reservation, you can attach additional profiles to the reservation in addition to an individual profile, such as a company or travel agent, depending on the association you wish to make with the reservation. From the Reservation screen, click the Company drop-down arrow to access the Profile Search screen. Enter the name of the company you would like to search for in the Name field. Notice that the View By field is already defaulted to the profile type of company. Select Search and your results will display. To attach the company profile to the reservation, be sure to highlight it and then select OK. The reservation now shows both the individual and company profiles attached. Repeat these steps to attach a travel agent, group, or source profile to the reservation. Now it is time to save the reservation and provide the guest with a confirmation number. Once all the information is entered, you can select Save to save the reservation and remain on the screen. Don't worry if you select Close by accident. You will be prompted to confirm if you want to save the reservation. We will now select OK, which saves and closes the reservation screen. If a deposit is due at the time the reservation is made, a deposit screen will display. The opera-generated confirmation number will display on the screen. Note, however, that if your property has an interface with a central reservation system, a CRS confirmation number will display instead. Next, you will see the closing script. This screen gives you an opportunity to review the details of the reservation with the guest. When finished, select Close to continue. The confirmation screen will display. Place an X in the column of how you wish to handle this confirmation, whether you wish to print, email, or fax it.